works out real well. So you drove all the way to Pebble and then back to Colorado. Yeah, basically, it was a long way. Without air conditioning, <laughs> without cruise control. It was funny, we, we were in uh, Omaha. Yeah. And uh, I have a chase truck, right? We had that Raptor as a chase truck. And my buddy Nathan's in there and I'm like, Nathan, how warm is it? And he's like, oh, it's 85. I'm like, oh, air-cooled V8, this can't be good. You know, a few miles later, how warm is it? 90. I'm like, oh, how warm is it? 98. And I'm thinking this engine's gonna melt down into like a molten uh, bunch of metal, right? And the car just kept trucking along, no problem. As long as we kept moving, it was all good. Well, the old VWs, they all ran good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. really well designed. Thousand kilograms, which is uh, yep. Thirty-five hundred pounds. That's not really all that bad for what it is. For back in the day, yeah. gang this is indeed a very bittersweet moment for me because as you can see there's a big truck behind the old girl and that's because we'll be shipping her out today we had to sell her using uh, bring a trailer it was a really nice experience great auction at the end of the day the old Tetra 603 is going to a good home she's going to uh, kind of a unique car museum out in Boston so that makes me happy because I think that there'll be at least other people who can enjoy the uniqueness of this car and really appreciate it for what it is, which is uh, kind of an interesting sidelight in the annals of automotive history. An air-cooled 2.5 liter V8 right there that got us all the way from Prague to Pebble Beach, 4,000 miles. So. As we get ready to load it on the truck, I have to say, I'm a little sad, but I'm also happy that the Tetra is going to a great new home, and uh, I couldn't ask for a better end to a really interesting and fun adventure. So thanks for watching, and this has been just a little coda, kind of getting you where the Tetra is going, and uh, just a period at the end of this incredible adventure. As always, this is Roman reporting for the Fastlane Car. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Bye, girl.